1913, a sanatorium in Cresson, Pennsylvania, opened its doors to aid those who had contracted tuberculosis, a disease that was often fatal before the invention of antibiotics. The facility would take on a different role in 1956, when it became a psychiatric hospital. The 1950s were a turbulent time for mental health treatment, with procedures such as lobotomies and electroshock therapy commonly performed on those who were already suffering. From 1987 to 2013, Crescent changed once again, this time becoming a state correctional institution, which at one point housed notorious serial killer Joseph Callinger. Three inmates took their own lives between 2010 and 2012. As of today, the massive campus of buildings and the tunnels that connect them sit empty, surrounded by the deep woods of the Pennsylvania countryside. It's the kind of place where you could easily get lost in the darkness and no one would hear you scream. To take on this ginormous paranormal challenge, we join forces with fellow investigators Amy's Crypt and Paranormal Quest. Each team explored different areas of the property in an attempt to make contact with the souls of those who were treated, incarcerated, and died behind the towering barbed wire fence. Each channel's episode will be linked in the description. Welcome to Crescent Sanatorium and Prison. All right, India, so we are standing in the courtyard area of here of Crescent Prison Sanatorium. And right now we are splitting up Amy's Crypt and Paranormal Quest are doing their own buildings tonight. And we're gonna do something a little bit differently here as well. We're gonna split up alone and do our own buildings. Tonight, I'm gonna to be in building seven, which used to be the morgue and the maintenance area. I'm gonna be in cell block E. I'm gonna be trying to talk to some inmates. Hopefully, they haven't seen a woman in a while and wanna to talk to one. <laughs> <laughs> India, India is going to prison right now. Okay, so right now we're gonna split up. We're gonna go to our buildings by ourselves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend a couple hours in these buildings alone and then later on in the night we're gonna get together and we're gonna go to the church, funny enough, and we're gonna go into the tunnels and I believe that we're gonna be doing something really special with Amy and Jared and I'm super excited for that and we'll get to that later on in this video. If you're new here, make sure you turn on all bell notifications and you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers. India, are you ready for this? I actually feel like there's a possibility that we might not make it out. <laughs> yeah, actually. This place is massive and we're like everything's so quiet. It's really eerie how quiet it is. So you ready? Yep. God, let's let's go. So while I'm standing here at building seven, getting ready to do my solo session alone, where there used to be the morgue and uh, it turned into a maintenance office building. Um, this building is one of the older buildings here on the campus. It was built in the 1940s. India is currently at building E, which is a prison. I'm kinda scared to go in here. Get ready to do this. Here we go. Love it. I always get the scariest scariest floors. So everyone wants to see me scream. Okay, so I'm here in E block. I'm gonna see if any of the inmates will come out and talk to me. I have a REM pod, uh, I bought a motion sensor, and I have all the ghost tube apps. So uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll do a Vox session to get warmed up and see if there's anybody in here. I guess I'll start on the bottom floor. This is the, scar this is the scariest when I was here earlier. Get to the bottom of the stairs, yep. Okay. Yeah, there's some tunnels right there. So when I was talking to Ryan earlier, he was telling me I should come here and go down here and turn it, make a hard left. And there's this creepy 40 foot tunnel. It goes all the way to the end to where there's just a chair down here. All right, here we go. In the tunnel we go, there's only one way in and out. Hello, if there's anybody here, my name is Connor. 
I'm here in building seven tonight to communicate with any spirits. I am by myself and I'm coffin. coffin. Oh God. This used to be a morgue, so there could have been the coffins down here. It absolutely probably could have been. I'm just here tonight to communicate with any spirits. Get to know your story about why you're here still. And share anything that you want to tell me to tell the world. Go to the 40 foot long tunnel, they said. Connor, go ahead, do that. Go to the 40 foot tunnel. It's not scary. Only if there's spiders down here. I when, Hang on a second. When I tell you, I cannot see anything. All right. Oh, it's already going off. All right. Hello. Hey. Is it dying? No, Connor told me to put a new battery in it. Can you step away from that? Can you step away? I wonder if it's dying. I'll have to ask Connor if you put a new battery. I'm gonna turn it off and on again. Uh, yeah, it's dying. Let me, let me turn it back on just to be sure that it is dying. I'm gonna come over here to the table. I cannot see anything other than there's like one window up in the ceiling and it's letting down a little bit of light, but there isn't really a, a clear moon out. So let me try this. Yeah, it's definitely dying. All right, so let me get some light so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, just heard something over there, but okay. What? What? I just heard... Okay, I must be hearing things. I thought I heard a voice. Okay, so I was going to use a REM pod, but the REM pod is dying. Um, Connor must have not replaced the battery in it, but I did have a motion sensor with me as well. So, up there, like at the top of the stairs, facing that way, I've put a motion detector. So if anything walks up there, we'll be able to hear it. And I think we're going to do a Vox session as well. So let's get started with a Vox session. Let's keep walking. So when I was here earlier, I was filming B-roll down here and during the daytime. And this seriously was so freaky and eerie. And I'm about to go back here where I found a room that I thought maybe where the bodies could have been at if it was a morgue. Or they did any embalming or anything like that. There's a room back here, the very back left side. That's all like big, it's blue. We're gonna start back there at the very back first, that big room. Is there anybody here? My name is Connor. I like to communicate with spirits and get to know their side of the story of what happened to them and what they're feeling and what they're going through right now. This is that room. Oh, look at, look at this room. It's just something different about it. Hello? Is that you? Okay. 
I just set ghost to right here. Not really a good spot to put my camera down anywhere. Is there anybody up here with me in this building seven? Was this room a morgue? Hi boys. My name is India. Can you tell me what your name is? Does anybody want a visitor? I know it must get lonely being in these cells all by yourself or with your cellmates and not seeing anybody but your cellmates. Who's here? How much longer have you got left? Thirteen. Thirteen more years? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I went to a concert and I, uh, I sang the songs a little too loud and I've lost my voice, so... It's good. I just heard something over there. If that was you, can you do that noise again? I do want to point out that old buildings do make noises, so just because you hear a noise does not mean it's paranormal. Are you allowed to come out of your cells at this time? You head to the... You head or you hat. I don't know. Can you hear my voice? No, I just heard, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. I just heard, okay, that was, that was movement. That was like movement, movement. Okay, is there somebody in here? That was like shuffling movement. That wasn't, that wasn't a building noise. Okay. If there's somebody in here, can you tell me? Like, I'm talking living person. Okay, let's move on to the next room. There's quite a few rooms here, so I just wanna keep moving. Gotta keep in mind here too that these two doors are locked. I can't get in there and then... Hello? Holy shit. Hello? Who's there? Oh my God, I walked around this corner and there's a loud noise. Why, how did I end up here alone, like for real? Hello? Guys, I was literally gonna say that that door is open to go outside. That was like somebody like moved real quick or ran or something over here. Somebody here? Is that the door? Hello? Yeah, I gotta stop ghost dude real quick. I'm a, I gotta turn on, I gotta get my flashlight out. I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay. Hello? I literally, I don't see anyone with my naked eye. Hello? That was so incredibly freaking weird. Okay, maybe, she, they said don't shut doors behind them, but I guess I can't shut that door, Never mind. Okay. All right, I guess I'm gonna use a little bit of a flashlight for a minute in case there's somebody actually in here with me. Because it is actually scarier to run into a real person and not a ghost, I can tell you that right now. I'm hearing more stuff moving. I'm just... I'm just hearing a lot of stuff moving right now. If you want me to leave, make a really big bang and I'll leave.
Leave it. Leave it. What? I mean, yeah, that has, that, uh, what does that mean? I'm asking if you want me to leave. You want me to leave the camera? This makes me feel very uneasy being in here just because of the noises that I'm hearing. If you're here, can you make a, a loud noise? Thank you, I heard that. Can you make a louder noise? I swear I just heard footsteps. Thank you, I heard that. <laughs> okay, so I just came outside so I could put a new battery in my camera. I could see a little bit more what I'm doing around here. And I think we're gonna go back inside, but this time we're gonna go down to the basement. That's where we first walked through. And when I got to the back area where I thought the room was where the morgue was, where the bodies could have been. Uh, it sounded like something like ran outside the door on the outside of the door. And when I went to go look, there was nothing there. So what we're going to do this time, instead of going through the entrance I went through last time, we're going to go all the way around the building through that door that I heard that noise of something running out. So we're going to go the back way, see if we can capture anything that is back there and figure out what that noise was. Actually, don't even know if we can get back there this way. Oh, man. Oh. There's a different door. No. Oh. Well, this is just great. Somebody down here? I've got an even creepier vibe right now. My, I've got chills throughout my entire body going through. I heard somebody down here when I first came down this, down this basement area, the first floor of this building. Who did I hear? Still down here? Oh sh! Oh my god, that scared the f out of me. F I think I found what it was. I think it's a bat. India was over here, she would be extremely happy that there was a bat. Hope you're enjoying that, India. Jesus. You scared the crap out of me. Okay, so I've been in here for around like 35, 40 minutes and there's not too much going on. I mean, I'm hearing noises, but it's impossible to like say that's paranormal because all buildings make noises, right? So I'm not getting much communication um, on my equipment. So I think I'm gonna go take a walk back to the base camp and find a new battery for my REM pod and then um, wait for Connor to be done with his solo and we'll go find another building to explore. Without trying to scare India, I'm thinking about actually heading over to E Block right now and team up with India here and see if we can do something at her building and see if that changes any of the energy in the air and maybe we can try to get some more activity or get any kind of activity. We're gonna leave building seven and head to 
E block. India. India, it's Connor. India. India, it's Connor. God, what the f Hello, India. Hello. India, for real, where you at? Where the f is she at? I heard you up there. I swear she was on the second floor up there, I heard a noise. India, come on, I heard you on the second floor up there. Hello? Come on, don't, don't, don't try to scare me or nothing like that. I'm trying to ask you something. I heard you when I walked in the room. All right, if she wants to screw with me, I'm gonna give her a call real quick here. Hello? Where you at? I'm at the base. Um... No, you're not. Yes, I am. India, don't joke with me. I'm at the base. I came back, I came back early because my throat's been irritating me. I needed a cough sweet, so I only did like 40 minutes. You've got to be kidding me. No. There's somebody here with me right now. What do you mean there's Hello? Who, I just saw, who are you? Hello? India, I'm not, I'm not, don't f with me. I'm not kidding you. I'm not, I'm in the base camp. Are you in, where are you, in the building? Oh uh, yeah, I'm in building E and there's someone that just moved in here. Hello? I, I was hearing noises in building E. It, it, I asked it to make a louder noise and it did. I was hearing shuffling, I almost ran out of there. Oh great, awesome. I heard, I walked in here and somebody just ran on the second deck. Yeah, I was hearing noises too. Well, that was not something I wanted to witness at this building walking away, okay? Walk in that building in building E, I just had the living crap scared out of me at building seven from a damn bat. I walk in that building and I heard a loud noise, which I thought was India trying to scare me, thinking it was funny, on the second floor of that prison area. And turns out she's not even in the building. And I walked all the way over here and went in there by myself, thinking I was gonna run into her. <sighs> yeah, well, glad to know that she was getting shuffling and noises while she was in there alone and got scared. And then here it is, I walk in there and there's someone that did the same, exact same thing to me. So I'm gonna go take a break real quick here and figure out with India what we're gonna do next because apparently that has more activity than building seven. So I'll be right back. So right now, I just got grouped up with India over here. You said that in such a disappointed tone. Yeah, well, I just I got mean, grouped up with India. I just got grouped up with India. No, here, I'm gonna turn off my light. Okay, so I just got grouped up with India after I just had the crap scared out of me, thinking that she was still in cell block E uh, after I wasn't really having anything really go on for myself and my solo in building seven. Um, we took a little mini break. Amy's crypt came into the room while we, we were taking a break and they moved now to the church. They were in this building and they were down here in the tunnel area, I believe. The tunnels lead to different buildings. So it goes all the way under the complex. All right, is there anybody down here? Yeah, this is definitely the tunnels. My name is Connor and behind me is India. Our friends, Amy and Jared, were just here in this building. Is there anybody here? I have a device called Ghost Tube that I'm running. You can use it to ask us questions, answer our questions, or just tell us something. Well, these tunnels are getting tight. 
Is there anybody down here in the tunnels? Can you help us find our way through these tunnels? Because they're very long and we don't know our way around. This must be what it feels like to go to the Paris catacombs or something like. God. <laughs> just endless darkness ahead of you. Imagine you lost in those things. Swear to God, if we see like some kind of grudge looking thing run at us, you, you best believe I'm running, just so you know. This is like how a horror movie happens. It's actually warmer in these tunnels than it is outside, which is nice. Yeah. Wait, stop, stop. Be under one of the buildings they're in. Why would they be blasting music? Or pounding or something? Stopped. Let's see where this goes. Shh, this is... shh. Yeah, I'm not hearing it now. It sound like footsteps, kind of though. We got. What would we? We're not that far from that building. We're not. Shh. You're talking? Yeah. Is it them? It can't be. I don't hear it. I'm just trying to think what building would be because we we're coming this way we're going straight out we don't we're not yeah, heading towards isn't the that just like grass above us right now yeah we're not even near the church we're going I straight it's really weird i i feel like we're not even under a building yet be because the well there would be a turn to get out going left you, you saw when we came down to go film B-roll. Well, we didn't explore the tunnels yet. We just we'll have saw... to look at the map when we get back because we're not what well, we're not that far down. Hang on, stop. I'm hearing okay, that's now. one of them. But it's down that way. Go that way. Let's see if we can. See if we run into them. We're under the church. That's the church. Yeah, it's us. <laughs> 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 
Uh, wait, I have a question. <laughs> you guys scared. Uh, wait, we've got a question. Let's go, you no. guys. Oh, it's our friend. Were you? Hey. You guys what? scared us because we were way down the tunnels. We were hearing a thud, thud. Were you thud, playing music thud. or like doing a beat or something? Because we were hearing like a. Then we heard a dog. No, were no. you whistling? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I was going. Um, Claw boy. Yeah, yeah, okay, that okay, was you. Okay. That was you. We were like, but where are we? We were hearing like a dubstep beat. Like, no, yeah, it was like, it was literally like, no, we were I was like, like, what is going yeah. on? We definitely were stomping around. Weird, all right. Well, okay. I'm well, sorry we uh, <laughs> intruded. We didn't know what was we'll going go, on. We'll go back into our hole now. Yeah, we'll go back. Enjoy the investigation, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Down there. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's go. Enjoy. <laughs> back to the hole we go. Is there any inmates down here in the tunnels? Did anybody try and escape through the tunnels? It just stopped moving. Hmm? Hearing jingling. Yeah, I heard it. Jingling, but it jing, might have... Jingling like keep. Let Whoa. me out. Who was that just now that I just heard? That was kind of creepy. That was... Which, which cell block are you in? We'll come let you out, but you have to tell us where you're at. Let's keep going. That was really weird though, getting that response. Eight. Eight? Eighteen? What does that mean? Eight. What is that, your cell number? Is there a building eight here? There's a seven. You were in seven. I don't know if there's an eight. Are you in building eight? There must be a building eight, right? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, we're getting to a little bit of a... Uh, yes. Yes. What? You put it together. You put it together. You're in building eight. Is that correct? You're in building eight? Is there a building eight? I don't know. I don't have the map. We'll have to look again. But... There's a map. There's a map. Can you tell us if, if, if there's a building eight? I heard 18, but <clears throat> when you. I'm not, I'm not... Oh, careful, careful, careful. What is that? I don't know. It scared the shit out of me. What is it? It's like a nest or something. Don't f tell me that. Is there spiders? What is it? Is there spiders on me? Look, 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 look. Oh my. Connor, there's no spiders on you, chill out. Jesus, man, it's like one of those... What is... Oh, he's laughing at you. <laughs> it's not funny. It it's is not funny. funny. He's scared of spiders, guys. It is not funny, guys. What is that? Is it... I got I it. It's, it like, might... it's like a... It's, you, know what, you know what it reminds me of? It's like a, it's like a giant nest of like... like Let me put my Eggs and, and stuff like that. Of like, like spiders would be down here. Like, it scared the crap out of me. No, it's not a nest. It's... What is it? It's a... Just like some old piping. Jesus, man, that scared the shit out of me. Now that the spirits of Crescent had warmed up to Connor and his fear of spiders, it was time to return to Building E to meet up with Amy and Jared of Amy's Crypt. The experiment you are about to see utilizes their brand new piece of gear that is soon to add a whole new layer to the way paranormal researchers investigate. This is Ghost Tube Lens. Okay, guys, so we have got Connor wearing Ghost Tube Lens. And he's one of, one of the first paranormal teams to use it because these aren't even available yet. So GhostTube Lens, it's a virtual reality headset. But what he's using is GhostTube here and he's actually looking at, right now, he's looking at repetitive noise to help him get into a trance-like state because we're about to do an Estus session. But instead of wearing a blindfold, he's using GhostTube Lens. It is the Estus of the future. For this particular session, he's also going to be watching Seer, which is, works just like an Ovilus or Ghost of Original or any of the other tools that you see other investigators use. But instead of generating the words and providing the words to you, it runs them through an AI engine, artificial intelligence, and creates unique visual images. So he's going to be seeing, we're not going to be able to see what he can see, and he's just going to describe to us what he sees whilst listening to a spirit box. Can you show us a person, a face?
Maybe you can talk to us as well. We've got a man sitting here with funny things on his head and ears. <laughs> if you go up to him, maybe you can show him something or maybe uh, you can actually share your voice to him. Oh, there's an image of like, oh my God. There's like an image of a face. This is really weird. It's like an image of a face of like someone's mouth open. And then inside that mouth, there's another mouth and another mouth of like just the teeth area. You can see the teeth. It's like, I don't know, it's like, it looks like it's like laughing or yelling or something with another tongue of a mouth inside of it. Do you need to get out of here? Do you want us to let you out? I just heard a noise back there. Yeah, same. Yeah. There are some slight noises, which I think are just the building. At some points it gets like really loud. Can you show us who's back here? Perhaps show us what made that noise? How are you feeling in here? It's, you know what, it's weird. Now that we're all in here, it's so much quieter. When I was in here by myself, it was like noise after noise after noise. It's just quiet now. Can you show Connor what your cell looks like? Can you show Connor the crime that you committed to get yourself in here? Can you come down the stairs and talk to us? Is it quiet hours right now? Are you allowed to be out of your cell right now? It is so much quieter. Connor's not getting any words come through on the spirit box by the sounds. Can you tell us your name perhaps? Do you have nothing to say? We've come a long way to visit you. You were making noises earlier, I know you're still here. I think the spear box just said something about a crate, like we're in a crate. Um, that's weird, okay. Who's talking? Can you tell Connor your inmate number? Did you hear that back there? I did. I heard that. I behind. just thought it was behind you, guys. you, Amy. Behind you, Ames. Behind me? Yeah. Yes. That's why I was hearing the noises earlier. Oh, that's There's an weird. image coming through. It's like medieval looking stuff, like, like guards. Like there's multiple guards. Like, it looks like they're guarding something, maybe. Just heard something else back there. Another noise. Are you being forced to not talk to us because there's guards here? They're forcing you in your cells. Well, that's the thing, right? The AI gets the words that are selected and then generates an image to interpret them. So it may have been the word guards that triggered it. It's interpreted them as guards in like medieval times. Yeah. But it may have been the word guards that was selected. Yeah. So it could still be relevant. Do you think that we're guards? Because we're not, we're just visitors. Or are you a guard? We've been hearing some noises in here. Can you show us what's making those noises, please? Ooh, it, that light was the trip. Why? Damn it, I just stopped bloody feeling it as well. <laughs> I saw the flash. Oh, thank you. Are you coming down the stairs? I got a five minute warning on this camera. Battery. The battery. Just battery. Oh, Ooh. thank you. Tripwire. I'm gonna, I think Connor's got another one. Oh, he gave it to me. It's in my pocket. Hang on. Where's he gave me a battery? Yeah, I've got something here. Oh, we want to swap this one? Yeah, let's swap it out. Can you show us what used to happen at these tables and chairs? Or what's for dinner? <gasps> what the f*** is that? Hello? That was a door, that was the door. Should we have a look? 
can't see. That was really loud. Yeah, I that's the kind of stuff I was hearing. But that sounded that sound like the front door. Someone in here? It was definitely from this corner. I, it sounded like, I thought somebody was coming in the door. Like, there's nobody there. All right, if you're making a loud noise down here, we're down here now, you got our attention. Can you do something a bit more? That was so loud, that was something moving. And there's no wind either, like, you would hear it. It's very still in this building yes. though. There's no draft or anything. It's not creaky at all, it's like a solid building. What did we just hear, can you show us? Or if you can't show us, can you make another loud noise? Because you did it for me earlier. Oh, something's coming up. There's a, there's a light post right here and a, and a man standing out right here, just staring, like he's literally standing like, like this, just staring and looking at you. Well, there's a light post right here. Like he's just, there's nothing behind him and there's just something in the background flickering. It looks almost like him. But facing the opposite direction, it's actually really weird. It's, it's like he's like going in and out from behind him, just standing there staring. And he's wearing like old clothes, it looks like, like a, like a, like a vest thing. That's almost interesting because one thing that we're finding with Sear is that it's important to sort of pay attention where things are coming on, on the screen. For instance, if you're seeing activity on this side and say a figure appears on that side, it's sort of corresponding to that. So I mean, him seeing a man over here, like maybe that's who's making the noise. I don't know. Oh, like and that's that? exactly yes. where the Thank noise you. just came from. Oh my God. Yeah. I think that's a confirmation. Amy. Yeah, literally yeah. to back up what I'm yeah. just saying, like we need to pay attention to where the things are appearing on the screen because it's almost like showing that's where they are in reality. Yeah. And we just heard a really loud noise over here. Jared. I'm going to dare you to go into the back corner where all the noises are. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Just do it. Do I get a light at least? I'll come with you. <laughs> okay, you follow me, don't leave me. And they were never seen again. <laughs> this is the final footage of Amy and Jack. I'm using the flashlight on my head. Which cell should Jared go into? Can you tell us? Give us a number. Ew. There's like red oh, water the in the dummy. Where? Red water. Red water it in It is red. You can't see it on this, but that is red. That is like blood water in the toilet. Ew. Ew. Not what you want to see in the toilet. <laughs> right. Oh, the uh, trip wire just went off. I oh, missed it. thank you. Someone out here with us? Can you show us one last image, please? I, I want to say the spirit box said, do you believe her? Uh, what you, did you just say, India? I said I saw the tripwire go off. Oh. I believe her. I believe that, yeah. India wouldn't lie to us. Well, would she? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just about to say that. I was about to say, well, <laughs> was she? And then I realized it's not our video and it might not be your type of humor. But there you go. All right, we're going to leave here in just a minute. This is your last chance to show us anything you want to show us. Any message that you have. I'm going to stand here. Let's see if he reacts. There's another image. It's got two gravestones next to the cross one on the right side. There's a big tree and then some grass. It's, a set, it's two tombstones. Is that where you're buried? And it's like in fog, like sort of fog. You can't see anything in the background. Do we know? Like the white light is in the middle, sort of. Do we know where inmates were buried here? I feel like, I mean, this place saw a lot of death back in the day as a sanatorium as well. I do feel like there are said to be unmarked graves and bodies buried here. They usually have like a, a prison usually has a prison cemetery that aren't claimed by family. Uh, yeah. I don't um, know if there's one here or not, but. I'm not 100% sure, but I have heard there may be bodies buried on site. Maybe that's what they want as well. You know, if you're in an unmarked grave, I want a headstone. I, w I would like to be buried properly. Yeah, because some of them are just marked by numbers in some cases. Mm. All right, I think we should move on as well, Jared. Yeah. Do you want to pull him out? Yeah, I'll pull him out. Hang on a sec. 
Jo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're out, you're done. I think this is the end of our investigation here at Crescent Sanatorium and Prison. How was the investigation for you tonight? I definitely enjoyed the investigation. This place is just so massive that it is impossible to cover it in one night. I feel like we barely scratched the surface here. I do think in the E building, there is something there and it was very strange, especially when you were under in and see it and we heard something very loud. It sounded like somebody was coming in the door and that's that's not a normal building. I literally said, when I was doing my solo, I was like, These, this might be a normal building noise. That wasn't a normal building noise. Yeah, we got like that bass noise. We never figured out what that actually was. We confirmed that it wasn't Jared or Amy or Paranormal Quest because they were at our base camp looking for their car keys. There's so many layers to this place and I think we got a taste of what it has to offer. I know that we've um, used up all of our resources that we can do. Our batteries and our cameras are dying. It's freezing. It is freezing. <laughs> Snowing a little bit. Yeah, and I don't think we have enough time right now. It is about 3, 3.30 in the morning right now and we only have this place till four o'clock. Now, this is our only night here. We have another location that we're heading to after this while Paranormal Quest and Amy is here another night. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all bell notifications so you never miss another episode of Paranormal Encounters. What do you say, we get out of here and go to bed? Yeah, I'm cold and tired. <laughs> I can't right. even talk. All right, let's get out of here.